that you're about to see are, are excerpts from the fall fishing trip, containing myself, Steve Rock and Roll Sokolik, and Rick the Fishing Uncle Sokolik. But you know something, it wasn't so much of a fishing trip as, as it was the quest. A quest for the big one. At 7.35, a time when no sane man should be awake. But but we're going fishing. We're going out to catch the big one. El Lanco. Here we are having a piece of cake, which our fishing is also hopefully going to be a piece of cake. And in honor, in honor of Papa, we'll say, cut self piece of cake and make self at home. What's your prospects on catching the big one? I think the rain's going to bring them out. After all, as soon as I get near water for fishing, it rains. And I think the big one's going to be coming up in the, in the rain. Actually, the big one's right here. Yeah, but as you well know, there, there's only one big one. Dan, would you like me to tell you what the present big one odds are at the Las Vegas uh, betting agency? I just want to know what the odds are of us catching the Us the catching big the big one. one. The, 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 the big You've one. You've heard of Jimmy the Greek. This is Stephen the Jew. <laughs> 7 to 100 to 1. I don't think so. I think it's a much better odd. But well, Stephen the Jew, is that the best odds you can give us? Mm-hmm. Wait, 700 to 1, that's good odds, isn't it? 700 that we'll catch in, 1 we won't? Just the opposite. Oh, I don't like that. More Jew- Jewish fishermen are about to start. Now, if we were not Jewish, we would be out there now. We would have been out there at 5.30 in the dark. And now it's time to find... And here we are, roughing it. And the big one. Right, tip of the hat. Well, here we are. It's a beautiful day for fishing, especially if you happen to be a fish. Steve has now taken over the controls after we've gone through the ritual of unhooking the boat from the trailer, putting the boat in the water. And after many hours, days, weeks, and months of preparation, this fishing trip might be ready to start fishing, believe it or not. Don't forget minutes and seconds. But as you know, we're not just fishing for normal fish. We're out to, to get the big one. It's out there somewhere. The one that got away. Steve? Would be under one of these what do you think boats? the big one is? Under the clown. Under the clown? Yeah. What's the just, depth, just Steve? Describe the, the equipment that we're, that we're using. Well, we are now sitting in a 1987 Bass Tracker, Bass Master, um, Pro V17 with a 20 with 28 pounds of thrust on the front end, which I think is very significant, and 75 big horses on the rear end, uh, with power trim and electric ignition and also oil injection. So we're going to be doing some injecting and some thrusting. Sure, we're we're going out for a three-hour tour, but. <laughs> Who knows? The weather started getting yeah, rough. Yeah. No, We're all gonna die. Danger! Oh yeah, let's go to the danger territory. Stay around that island. Okay. You can't go across there. There's a real shallow thing there. It's ten to, to, to nine. The time when no sane man is out on the lake. Is it working now? Yeah, we got the radar on. We're gonna slip around the clown here and uh, well, you put head the for 60 feet. The Grand Glaze Bridge, which is also known as the Upside Down Bridge. Could you tell us just uh, what just happened there? Steve was working on his rod and reel, getting it put together, and he had, didn't have the reel hooked onto the rod tightly, and the reel fell in the water and went down to the bottom of the lake, about 20 feet below. At which time. Dan came up with the idea, well, if he's still got the line in his hand, we can bring all the line off the reel, and when it gets to the end, it'll come out and come up, and it did, after about 20 minutes. So it was successful, and nothing was lost except some time. Now we are tying a Gitsit onto Steve's line with the amazing fisherman's knot. Ow, and we just got hooked. Oh, action shot. Any blood? No blood, but close to it. Dan, remind the viewing audience that this is not stage this is real that was a real owl it's now about uh, 10 after 10 hold on we we haven't quite haven't quite gotten uh, a line in the water well we have we have got a line in, in the water but it turned out to be more of a a reel more than a line we got the wrong end but uh 
I have uh, I, I have no doubt that Uncle the fishing Uncle Rick okay, will uh, will come through on getting us the big one. Well, how am I gonna get soda, Dad? Oh, Steve, I'm tired of your food business. Just go to the back of the boat. Let's fish. We we'll get soda and more food later. <laughs> All you're interested in is eating. Go on, Steve. We came to fish. It's at ten after ten, and we haven't even fished yet. Well, we're trying to experience a bit of bonding here. Well, what are you trying to do? Ruin it? In a couple hours, you're going to want to go back to the world series. Whoa! That will have to be edited. That will definitely have to be edited. Steve's laughing. This is, uh, looks like a 10 or 15 pound uh, rockfish I just pulled in from uh, the depths of the lake. Yes. I, uh, got the net ready for it, just in case it moves. <laughs> It's, it's looking kind of, it's kind of on a tougher. Hold on, hold it there. Hold it. Oh, okay. All right, we got that. I landed there. it. I landed. Oh, hey, watch out. Oh, but we still got the rock. <laughs> okay. It came right off the hook. That's great. I tell you something. Hey, no, you don't have to unhook it. That's a put that in the live well. That's, that a right eating, the ooh, well. Ooh. that's a good eating. That's rock. a good eating. That's a good eating. A guarantee. I guarantee that rock's gonna be good. Oh, that's that's a. Mm, I, oh, yeah, it looks. Oh, where do the, where do you put the? Where's the, uh, the live well? It's by Steve's foot. Where's the live well? Well, I'll tell you what. We'll just put it there to die. I uh, just nailed this rockfish here, but as you can tell, it is not the big one. It's still out there. Wipe your nose. It's tripping. <laughs> This weather is a malady to fishing. It's a travesty that we like have terrible fish. weather. Thank you. And I would suggest that you try. I would suggest that you try either that white one or this one. And I'll tie up this one. And Dan, I'll tie up this one for him. Right. Hold on. Let's see it. Wait. Let me pull him out of here so you can see him. Is that the big one, Dan? Oh yeah. Uh, that's one of them. I, I don't know if that is the big one. That, the net. I just I just reeled this in. Uh, Rick, the fishing uncle Sokolik, is, uh, is now removing him. Oh, he wants to say hi. He'd like to have a. He'd like to say a word. Open your mouth, buddy, and talk. There he goes. He's talking. Hello. It's nice to be here with you folks today. Thank you for making my day. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yes, it's nice to be. Oh, he's biting me. He won't let my finger out of his mouth. Ah! 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 My finger. He's eating my finger. All I have now is a stub. Oh, a stub. Oh, all I have is a stub. Well, hello, hello. He's well, now going into the live well. The live well is now going to be used. That's a nice one, Dan. Unfortunately, it was the rundown on, on exactly what happened. Uh, what what lure was that? What's the what's the name of that uh, that lure? This lure. This is called a thin fin, believe it or not, and it's now stuck in the net. But we shall remove it, and you shall try it again. I'm sh Dan. You want to change lures, right? <laughs> I think not. I think not, Dan. Remember how to do the worm? I I would like to say though that that, that that was the uh, what first catch of the day, and well, I don't want to be worm. you know big-headed about this, but I caught it. Way to go, Dan! <laughs> Getting fish I'm going to sit down right. there and try and keep up my reputation as head fisher right? dude. Right. How do you use this? I can't remember. It's been too long. Uh, throw it out up against that there. Try How to get it to go right underneath there. Let it sink. And then... But what about backlashing? You'll get some backlashes. There's no way you no, can help it. Hold on to something. Huh? Oh, you gotta hold your hand onto the. Onto there, you gotta hold your hand. You remembered that, I'm sure. See, I can't do it. On there, all right. So this beautiful. Yeah, can I borrow your glasses? Oh, one drive. You just retrieved this for me. And uh, they got into a little line. Thank you.